Murray from Sesame Street, and I'm looking for the word on the street. What's the word on the street? Grouchy. What does the word grouchy mean? When you're cranky and you're in a bad mood. And what makes you grouchy? When I haven't had enough sleep. Sometimes I just get grouchy over absolutely nothing. Show me your grouchy face. Oh, that's a good grouchy face. Keep listening for the word grouchy today on Sesame Street. Grouchy. That's the word on the street. Now scram. Oh, no, no, stay. I meant you. Oh, scramming, sir. <laughs> over to Hooper store. Oh, check it out! There goes Elmo! Hey, buddy! Uh, uh hey, uh, Elmo, um, I'll be off of work pretty soon. I was thinking maybe we could go to the park and maybe ride the merry-go-round, eh? Yeah! Oh, oh. oh, sorry, Chris. Uh, Elmo, what's wrong? Elmo doesn't feel like himself today. Really? Uh, well, why don't you tell me, what do you feel like? Well, Elmo doesn't know, Chris. Elmo feels a bit Cranky and grumpy and kind of grouchy. We're almost not sure what's happening. I know exactly what's happening. But what is it, Oscar? What's happening to Elmo? You are turning into a grouch. A grouch? Elmo's turning into a grouch? No, no, no. Oscar, Elmo is not turning into a grouch. Well, how does Chris know? Because I know you, and you are definitely not a grouch. Chris, you got those boxes? Coming, Ellen! Uh, Elmo, I gotta go back to work, but trust me, you are not turning into a grouch, okay? Okay. Thanks. <sighs> you could go by what Mr. Happy Pants says, but there's really only one sure way to find out if you're a grouch. Oh, but what's that, Oscar? The grouch test. The grouch test? Yeah. So but what is the grouch test? It's a test to see if you're a grouch. Well, Elmo really needs to know if Elmo's turning into a grouch, so Elmo will take the grouch test. Good decision, you little furball. Now, the first part of the grouch test is called Oscar Says. Oh, is that like Simon Says? <laughs> yeah, only grouch here. Oh. Grouches love doing the opposite of what people tell them. So when Oscar says, you got to do the opposite of whatever I tell you to do. Do the opposite? Yeah, you know, when something is completely different, like the opposite of new is old, or the opposite of clean is dirty. Maybe you could help Elmo with his opposites. OK, <laughs> here we go. Remember, pay attention and do the opposite. Oscar says, stand perfectly still. Boy, what's the opposite of standing still? Oh, Elmo thinks it's moving around. <laughs> you got it. That's opposite. <laughs> Boy, this is fun. Elmo's ready for more. Yeah, well, it's going to get harder. Oscar says, go right side up. What's the opposite of right side up? Ah, upside down. Now Oscar says, upside down. Uh. <laughs> Oscar says, go right side up. Uh. Elmo, it gives me great displeasure to say, you did it. You passed the grouch test. Uh, Elmo did? Yeah. Do you know what this means? Uh, Elmo's got to stay upside down all day. No. It means you're a grouch. Yeah. Elmo is? Yes. 
And to commemorate this awful occasion, we need to do the grouch cheer. Well, what's the grouch cheer? It's this. <laughs> no. Elmo! Hey, hey, Elmo! What, what are you doing? Oh, well, Elmo's doing the grouch cheer. Grouch cheer, Elmo? Only grouches do the grouch cheer. Why are you doing the grouch cheer? Well, because Elmo passed the grouch test and found out he's officially a grouch. Elmo, I already told you, you are not a grouch. Elmo doesn't know, Chris. Ask Elmo if he wants to go to the merry-go-round again. Um, uh, Elmo, well, do you want to go to the merry-go-round after I get off of work? No! See? See? Elmo's still not feeling like himself. Yeah, but that doesn't make you a grouch, buddy. It doesn't? Mm-mm. Yeah, try this, all right? Repeat after me. Okay. I am not a grouch. Elmo is not a grouch. Yeah. There you go. Yes! <sighs> I gotta get back to work, but uh, just remember what I told you. Repeat to yourself. I am not a grouch. Okay. Elmo is not a grouch. Elmo is not a grouch. Or maybe you are. Yeah, but Chris said Elmo isn't. The only way to be sure is take part two of the grouch test. But there's a part two? Oh, yeah. Part two really helps you know if you're a grouch. If you pass part two of the grouch test, you are definitely a grouch. Well, Emma really needs to know. So let's take part two of the grouch test, please. <laughs> <sighs> Grouches don't say please. Oh, right, sorry. And we still don't say sorry. <sighs> sorry. Now, this part of the test is called Grouch Eye View. Ah, oh, what's that? It's a game where I show you a picture of something gross and yucky close up. If you're really becoming a grouch, you'll be able to focus on the grimy details and tell what it is. Now, come on, let's play Grouch Eye View. Oh. Are you inviting people to play again? I'm sorry, Oscar. Stop apologizing and just look closely. I'm sorry, but... Right okay, now, let's focus, everybody. <laughs> hmm. Is it, is it an old piece of string? No, Elmo doesn't think so. Oh, wait, wait. Elmo thinks it's part of an animal. Oh, maybe a tail. What kind of animal has a tail that looks pink and curly just like that? Uh, <laughs> a piggy! Yeah, Elmo thinks it's a picture of a piggy's tail. Let's see if you're right. You got it. <laughs> Was that a lucky guess? Let's take another grouch eye view and find out. Hmm, now what could that be? It's shiny and has lines like a comb. But wait, combs comb hair, and grouches don't like neat hair. Elmo doesn't think it's a comb. Oh, Elmo thinks this is part of an animal, too. It looks like a fin. Do you know what kind of animal has a fin like that? Right, a fish. Elmo thinks it's a fish, Oscar. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Elmo, you just passed part two of the grouch test. Does that mean? Yes, you are a grouch, all right. <laughs> And in honor of your being a grouch, you get your very own trash can. A trash can? You're a grouch, kid. It's what we do. Yeah. Okay. Elmo the Grouch will try it out. Elmo guesses. Ah, it's great to have another grouch in the neighborhood. <laughs> now to celebrate. I'll go make some anchovy sundaes. OK, Elmo, let's go. Elmo? Hey, Elmo, I'm done with work. Where'd you go, buddy? Hi, Chris. Huh? Ah! <laughs> Elmo, what are you doing in a trash can? Well, Elmo the 
Grouch pass part two of the Grouch test, Chris, so Elmo got his own can. Elmo, please stop calling yourself Elmo the Grouch. You are not a Grouch. But Elmo the Grouch passed the Grouch test, and Oscar said that definitely makes Elmo a Grouch. Come here, Elmo. Yeah, catch him. Come here. <sighs> okay. The uh, Elmo, not everyone feels happy all the time. They don't? No. People have lots of different emotions. Uh, sometimes they're good feelings and good emotions, like when you're happy or excited, and sometimes they're not so good feelings, like maybe when you're sad or angry or maybe even a little grouchy. Huh. Really, Chris? Really? Listen. Sometimes feelings send you reeling. You feel mad or sad or strange. But a feeling's just a feeling. Feelings pass and feelings change. Feelings pass and feelings change? Yeah. So whatever you are feeling, scared or worried, blue or low, hear the secret I'm revealing. Feelings come and feelings go. You mean if Elmo's feeling grouchy, Elmo can change that feeling? <laughs> How about by dancing like crazy or jumping around or singing a song and loving the sound? La 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 la. <laughs> Taking some time, just a moment of quiet to watch the clouds roll by. It works, you should try it. La 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 la. But the best thing of all, which I must recommend, when you're feeling blue, get a hug from a friend or many, 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 many friends. Okay, uh, Elmo, do you want to go play at the merry-go-round? Yes! <laughs> oh, did you hear that, Chris? Elmo feels like his happy self again! Hey, that's <laughs> great, buddy! Yeah! <laughs> uh, just when I was really starting to like that guy. Elmo loves you too, Oscar. Oh, <laughs> get out of here, you little red menace! Uh. <laughs> Nearby, wow, ah, 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 ah. dance far away. Now clap your hands to the letter of the day. Clap, clap. What's the letter? Clap, clap. What's the letter? Clap, 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 clap. What's the letter? 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 What's the letter of the day? Clap, clap. It's the letter of the day. Start with E. The letter E makes two sounds. E, 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 and E, E, E. I love E, E, elephants. They wash themselves with their chunks. I love E, E, eggs. They are yummy. I love E, E, eating. It fills my tummy. We love E, E, exercising. It's fun to sweat. We both love words that start with E. We love the letter E. Elmo and Murray are with their very nice friend, Bill. Hi. Uh, yeah, and Bill is going to show us what it looks like to be grouchy. Oh, no, guys, I can't do that. Why not? Well, because grouchy is when you feel cranky or you're in a bad mood. Yeah. And right now, I'm in a great mood. Oh, you must get grouchy sometimes, Bill. You must get grouchy sometimes. Yeah, even Elmo gets grouchy sometimes. Well, <laughs> sure, some things make me grouchy. Oh, like what? 
Like when I go to eat my cereal and there's no milk in it. Mm. Ooh, oh boy, I'll be right back. Okay. Where's he going? I'm gonna get now. I got a bowl of cereal for you, Billy Boy. Oh, wow. That's really nice mm -hmm. of you. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. What? There's no milk. Oh, oh boy. Oh, this is horrible. Awful. I can't believe it. My whole day is ruined. Ah. Well, Mr. Bill seems like he's in a bad mood right now. Yeah, there's no milk in my cereal. It makes me grouchy. Oh, I'm really sorry about that, Bill. Let me let me take this for you. Sorry about that. <laughs> no problem, Murray. Hey, thanks for thinking of me, though. Yeah. Oh, is there anything else that makes Mr. Bill grouchy? I guess, yeah. yeah. You know, the normal stuff. Mm -hmm. Like uh, when a woodchuck is wearing my favorite hat. Oh. That really... Hey, Bill! I want you to meet my friend James. He's a woodchuck. Hey, Jimmy, how you doing? Wait a minute. What? Is that woodchuck wearing my favorite hat? Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> well, yes, yes, I am. Oh, man! Oh, I can't believe it! That just steams my clams. Huh? It makes me so... Grouchy? Yes, yes, grouchy. Ugh. Oh, I'm really sorry about that, Bill. Sorry. Ooh, sorry about that. No problem. But just don't let it happen again, please. Okay. Anything else that makes Mr. Bill grouchy? Not really. Mm. Well, except when I see vegetables dancing the polka. Yeah. Hit it, boys! Ooh, a show! Wait! Those veggies are dancing the polka! You know what? That doesn't bother me as much anymore. Uh, oh, uh, in that case... Uh, uh, but that still makes me very... Grouchy! grouchy. <laughs> uh, thank you, Mr. Bill. Hey, anytime. <laughs> I smile when I'm happy, I cry when I'm sad, I yell when I'm angry, that's another word for mad, I'm quiet when I'm lonely, tired of feeling blue, I might scream if I get scared, or I'm excited to see you, my cheeks turn pink or purple when I'm embarrassed or feel shy, and when I'm feeling nervous, I'll be brave enough to try. I sometimes have a temper. I get mad and scream so loud. But when I take a deep breath, I calm down and then feel proud. These things are my emotions. Every feeling is okay. I'm learning how to deal with them every single day. So if you feel grumpy, Stuck in a bad mood Give yourself a hug and say Goodbye, bad attitude It's time to get up And stomp your feet Do this great foot stomping Transylvanian beat Start nice and slow One, two Then speed up more One, two, three, four Then stomp away Cause we're about to find out the number of the day! So what's the number? Stop, stop! What's the number? Stop, stop! What is the number? The number of the day ah. it tickles my spleen. The number of the day is 13! So that's the number! Let's stomp 13 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Ah, ah, ah. Thirteen's not so lucky. Lucky's not thirteen. Took thirteen dogs out walking. Now there's thirteen dogs to clean. One, two, three. Made 
following preview has been rated M.E. for mixed emotions. Coming soon, the Musarable. It's the story of Jean Bonbon, a French guy who was very sad because he had no cookies. Look down, look down, no cookies anywhere. Look down, look down, me dummy in despair. Until one day, things started looking up. Really? Hey! <gasps> Ooh la la! That French for cowabunga! Cookies! Um, but not everyone in France was as happy as Jean Bonbon. <laughs> I dreamed a dream of a cream gone by. <laughs> a cookie I could give my daughter. <laughs> Not having cookies makes me sad. <laughs> makes my eyes fill up with water. <laughs> Jean Bonbon knew just how Flantine felt. Oh, actually, me not so sure. It's hard to tell with all that crying. He looked at her face. He saw what she was doing with her body. She crying and she hugging self. She bored. No. No, she not bored. She, um, well, me cry and hug myself when me feeling sad. Yes. Thank you. Why you sad, Flantine? Oh, because my daughter cream it. She loves cookies, <laughs> but I don't have any to give her. <laughs> well, just look up. There's a cookie on a cloud. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, that too far up. <laughs> but what about those cookies? Whoa, no. Huh? These me cookies. Au revoir, lady. But, uh, cookie Monster was so happy uh, he had cookies uh, until he heard his friend, uh, e piming. Uh, on my own, wishing I had cookies. More singing. On my own, wishing I had yours. Suddenly, Jean Bonbon understood what Epinine was feeling. She sad. No. No, not sad. No. He looked at what she was doing. Oh, good idea. Oh, well, she trying to take me cookies. Ah, uh, she want what me have. Oh, me know that feeling. What that feeling? Jealous? That the one. Oh, uh, <clears throat> it's okay, by me. Uh, when you find your own cookies, then you not feel so jealous anymore. Bye-bye. Oh, um, 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 um. Do you hear the cookies crunch? It's really more than we can bear. That's the sound of John Bon Bon. He's the guy who would not share. Why is he taking all the treats? Why does he leave us with the post? Maybe he'll learn to share with us when tomorrow comes. Why does he leave us with the post? Jean Bonbon understood what his friends were feeling. Oh, yeah, me no have clue, but me can figure it out. Me just look at their face and see what they do with their body. Hmm, they raising fists and stomping feet. They angry. That's right, Tan Bon Bon. We're angry because you have all the cookies. Yeah! So? Why don't you share your cookies with all your friends? Moi? Maybe if me sing song about it, me have epiphany. Who oh, me am? And me monster who doesn't care? Or me monster who want to share? If me have cookie and friends have none, then me should share with everyone who oh, me am. Who you are, Jean Bonbon, but will you share your cookies? Yes, Angel Food, me share cookies! Yeah! Yeah I've got marshmallows, s'mores for everybody! One day s'more, one day s'more, one day s'more! Don't miss Le Musarable. The feel-good and not-so-good movie of the year. Sesame 
street was brought to you today by the letter E and by the number 13. This is Murray saying see you next time on the street. Peace.